We've seen uh, a major event, Celebration of Light, uh, now cancelled for this summer uh, in Vancouver. Can you provide some guidance and clarity to you know, organizers and communities about what they should be doing in terms of setting up these big uh, summer events, uh, PNE, Pride festivals? Like, is the guidance now to cancel them? Um, why can't we sort of is there a way to give some definitive clarity on, on what they should be doing with these big major events? Well, uh, I think I've been trying to give as much clarity as we can. Clearly, there are things we don't know. Um, we have seen that things can happen, change very quickly. And we saw that uh, in, in the last few weeks. What we hope with the program that we are on now, with the amount of vaccine that we have, is that we will be able to have some small outdoor events. I can say there is not likely to be big events of any sort, even outdoors, in the, through this summer and into, uh, into the fall and winter of next year. But I can uh, see many situations where we could have smaller distance outdoor events this summer um, with perhaps hundreds of people. We're watching really carefully some of the, the really cool things they're doing in the UK uh, where they've had some uh, a concert where people were monitored before and after to see what are, type, what are the riskiest situations and how we, will we be able to mitigate those. Um, we're looking at, you know, is there ways that we can do things like that here? Recognizing how important some of these festivals and arts uh, um, events and cultural events that we're missing so much, um, but there will not be big events where there's lots of crowds of people um, this summer.